Hey guys, welcome back. This is Little Fear Fear here, and today we are here for another review. And this is of uh, another Walther's Trainline product. This one being fairly similar to one of the other hoppers that I've reviewed, but this one is in a slightly different paint scheme, and I got it for a different price. So this one I got for twenty dollars. Yes, we'll go over the box, but they're similar to all the other boxes you have seen so far. Oop, upside down. But it's fairly easy to get these things out of the box. Just slide the plastic tray out. So the box will the side here. And this one, unlike the kettle car or anything else, just has a simple sheet that comes with it. And so there's something on the back. That is for kit charges or spare parts. So that's just some paperwork. Yeah, paperwork. So I'll also set that off to the side. And now let's get on to looking at some of the finer details. First of all, I decided to get this Illinois Central hopper to go along with my Illinois Central locomotive since I had no rolling stock to run along or match with it. And so we're gonna take a closer look into the details now. And you can obviously see Illinois Central Golf, the giant emblem. There is some small text here I'll get really close to later. And then you have its code capacity, weight limit, and such. And now we're gonna take a closer look at the text here. All right, now if my hand isn't too sh shaky, you should be able to read whatever these letters are, built, something, caught, and less. I don't exactly know what those stand for, so if you guys know what those mean in the comments down below, I'd be happy to know what those are. And so now let's get some other views of the hopper. Each end of the hopper is pretty similar, except only one side has a brake wheel on it and the air brakes systems inside there. So the other side just doesn't have any of that. The top is just the same what you expect from a hopper. It's got all the routing details, all the support beams, and the underside is also fairly detailed and there's not that many, I can't seem to find any molding lines or anything on the underside here. If we are to take a close look at the trucks here, you can see that they're excellently modeled, even though all of it's molded and there's no true spring action or anything, everything looks nice. And the wheels are metal with plastic axles and they're molded or they're modeled fully from the outside, but there's no extra detail on the inside of each wheel here. And so the other truck is pretty much the same. All right, now moving on to performance, we're just gonna test it over the set of double points here. And so we're just gonna give it a light tap glides right over these points so it doesn't cause any problems with moving around in any way like that. It does seem to be maybe a little less free rolling than some of my other Walther's cars, but it still glides excellently across the tracks here. All right, now coming in for the couplers test, I'm just using the Milwaukee Road boxcar gear as a standard testing unit for all of the, my Walther's train line cars because it seems to work with all of them. And so as you see here, it coupled up nicely with little effort. And so they just lock in. And that's kind of how these Walther's couplers are. There's not an actual spring to them. There's just a bent piece of plastic. So it's a lot harder for them to break. And so now let's get this hopper hooked up behind an engine. The locomotive that we'll be pulling today's train will be our Tyco GP20 from the Illinois Central as seems an obvious choice for having an Illinois Central hopper. And so now let's get the hopper all coupled up. All right, now let's try to see how slowly the GP20 will back up. And there we go. It seems to be coupled and we'll send it off. There we go, and now let's get some shots of this engine running around the layout. For today's train, I chose a consist that mostly consisted of hoppers to go along with the new member of the fleet.
All right, now let's try to see if we can park the car and track here. It's coming. There we go. Almost right in the middle. All right, now let's move on to the final ratings. For my overall ratings, uh, starting with performance, I would give it a 9 out of 10 for all of its couplers working and it being able to move over the point, but it is not as free rolling as some of my other Walther's cars, so I don't know if that's just a quality issue or something. But then for detail, I also gave it a 9 out of 10. It had nice intricate detailing with all of the small text and the intricate details down by the bogies and the separately fitted brake wheel, but the wheels were not fully accurately molded and included all the little finer details with the couplers being a little bit larger than they should be in reality. But on to quality, I give it a nine out of 10 for looking nice overall with its fine finish and everything. Everything worked properly, but there were some little small smudgy grease marks or extra glue marks that could barely show up on camera that I found out later about, but those are pretty minuscule, so it doesn't, they don't take away that much. And then uh, for value, I gave it a six out of 10 for picking up this one for $20. I felt that like it was a little too much for what this kind of object or car was compared to some of the other deals I've gotten with some other Walther's cars. So I feel like this one was maybe a little bit more than what it should have been for all of this here. And then that brings us to an overall of 8.25 out of 10, which is a fairly nice score for a car. It's not negative. <laughs> but it's still above 50%. So I would recommend this car to anybody if they want to get it or if they want to pick up anything similar to it in any other paint schemes. Hopefully your version will maybe roll a bit smoother, but this is a nice beginner's kind of car or maybe something to get in bulk or maybe if you wanted to practice weathering on something like this and it would look nice. But that just about sums up this overall review on this kind of new product, but not really. And I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it this far on the video. And I'd like to thank you guys once again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.